Hey everybody, welcome back to the Workbench series where we do work on the bench. Today we're going to take a look at a thermostatic expansion valve. I've got a special little model valve here that disassembles nicely so you can see the inner workings of the valve. We'll start at the bottom and this is the protective cap that we always need to remember to put back in place and it's protecting the stem adjustment here. Fits on like so. Then we have the spring guide, which sits right on top of that little needle. And then we have the spring, the superheat spring, if you will. This is a force that tries to close the valve to allow less refrigerant into the evaporator. So the spring is pushing up, trying to close the valve. And what it is pushing up is this little pin carrier with the pin on top, sometimes called a needle and seat assembly. And the spring fits inside there and it's trying to push it into the valve to close the valve. So this is a closing force. The second closing force is the evaporator pressure that pushes up to try and prevent the valve from opening. The opening force is here the thermostatic bulb and when the refrigerant heats up pressure is transmitted through this transmission line to the power head here and to this diaphragm right inside here. This diaphragm is going to push down on the push rods which are inserted into the valve through these little holes right here so it takes very little movement and it will push these down and together they will push down the pin carrier to try and move the needle off of the seat so let's put this all together so we can talk about how it works We'll put the pin inside, the superheat spring there, the guide. We'll put the adjustment stem back in place, and it's starting to resemble a TXV now. We will put the push rods in the holes, and you can see that extra little hole in the top there. That's because this is an externally equalized TXV. And that little opening comes from the external equalizer here. And then the thermostatic element screws in on top. On the inlet side here, we have a strainer to keep debris from getting into that needle and seat assembly right here. So here is the final assembled product a thermostatic expansion valve that opens and closes. Here is the service wrench that we would use if we were going to make an adjustment. We would take the protective cap off, use the service wrench to make the adjustment. This has been the Workbench series. I'd like to thank you for joining in and we will see you on the next one.